Hello everyone, this is Deanna, and welcome to the news of my upcoming events for March. If you are ready to give up the glamour of the world, let go of outdated dogmas, and think outside the box, you'll love what I have in store for you on March 23rd weekend. The vernal equinox, which marks the beginning of spring in the Northern Hemisphere, will be on March 20th this year. What an auspicious time to present to you the path of the Cosmic Christ. Beginning on Saturday, what I want to share with you will not only challenge your thinking, it will expand your consciousness from universal mind thinking to universal mind knowing through the Maseroth or Zodiac. No wonder the ancients studied the heavens above in the great mystery schools. Let's listen to what the Bible has to say. In John chapter 14, verse 2, In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And in Luke chapter 8, verse 9, To you it has been given to know the secrets, mysteries, of the kingdom of God. But to others I speak in parables. Oh, I'm so excited to share with you the story behind this story, as written in the stars and then stated in the great hermetic axiom of, as above, so below. To begin with, Jesus was a true mystic and demonstrated an intense journey of transformation, which gave humanity a blueprint to do the same thing. He had a holy relationship with the all-knowing mind of God, his Father, and was able to transfer that message through the many miracles he performed. Jesus was an alchemist. He changed water into wine. He could feed the multitudes with only two fishes and five loaves of bread. Jesus was a healer, and he even raised people from the dead. He turned his body into light at the transfiguration, and although he was tempted in the desert... He overcame that too, but as the story goes, in the end, Jesus was crucified on the cross, but resurrected as the cosmic Christ. Well, your path is no different than this great mystic who was willing to become godlike. As individualized cosmic co-creators, each of us has an opportunity under these intense Aquarian energies to develop the quality of consciousness of Christ Jesus. After all, our bodies house the Spirit of God, and when we pass through the seven initiations as Christ Jesus did, we will transfigure our bodies into temples of light, not only for ourselves, but for the transfiguration of humanity. This is such an exciting topic for me because it involves astrology, occult science, and the practical path of how to be of good cheer and overcome the world. The information is so empowering to anyone who's given up the spiritual entertainment and is going for the real work of transformation. I have so much in store to share with you, along with practical tools and exercises that will stretch your thinking so that you can live as a conscious co-creator as Christ Jesus. Now that's a full day, Saturday. On Saturday evening, I've prepared a wonderful meditation with my most ancient crystal skull from Peru. It is considered ancient because it's more than 3,000 years old. In fact, it's most likely 6,000 years old. This skull is truly a living library of knowledge with a movable jaw and ornaments representing the trinity of the puma, condor, and snake. This crystal skull is so precious, she's beautiful, being inlaid with lapis lazuli and turquoise. She even gave me her name, Queen Azura. Her energy is very powerful. It's like that of Goddess Segment in Egypt. And she has a way of opening the solar heart of anyone who gazes into her eyes. Queen Azura is waiting for those whom she is calling to be in her presence. And she will download her knowledge and wisdom if you are sensitive enough to be able to receive her message.
We have meditated with Queen Azora many times over the last year since she first came to us on her recent Anchoring the Light tour to Peru. And I have to say that many healings were reported that took place in her presence, some on the physical level and others on the emotional and spiritual level. So you are invited to join with us on Saturday evening at 8 p.m. sharp as we anchor more love and light on the planet in deep meditation with Queen Azora. Next, I would like to invite you to attend my Sunday service where we will spend about an hour and a half in songs of praise, meditation and prayer, and devotional study. And lastly, on Sunday afternoon, starting at 2 p.m., I will be doing a follow-up on the teachings of our last workshop, The Mirror of Consciousness and Self-Transformation. We had such a great time at that workshop with so many people attending. But I know there were questions left unanswered and some concepts that may not have been understood. So I thought it would be beneficial to offer a follow-up with lots of time for Q&A. If you're listening to this now and you would like to attend but have not attended the mirroring workshop, don't worry, you can still join in. There is so much to learn by just listening to questions and answers. And you never know, you just might have a question yourself. So everyone is welcome. Well, that's what's coming up for Anchoring the Light Ministry next month. It is my hope that you will join with me to learn the path of the Cosmic Christ or simply sit in meditation in the presence of Queen Azora. Connect with your heart spirit on Sunday at Sunday service or participate in a question and answer session about mirroring. In the meantime, take wonderful care and remember to say this little mantra to yourself every day. God is, I am, all is well.